In today's video, I want to show you how to export video from VideoLeap using the free version. I'll be using my iPad so that it's easier for you guys to see. The first thing I'm going to do is tap on the plus sign to add my clips. I'll choose this clip here. I'm just going to tap on it and tap add to project. Your clips may take a moment to be loaded into the VideoLeap app. If you see this screen, just wait patiently for this to finish and then you can begin editing your clips. For this tutorial, I am going to be using the free version. In the interest of full disclosure, any video that you see recorded on my iPhone is done with VideoLeap Pro installed. That's because I have a Pro subscription. My video has been loaded into VideoLeap. The first thing I'm going to do is change the aspect ratio from 9 by 16 vertical video into 16 by 9. To do that, you would tap on transform. But first you have to select the clip and the transform option will appear. If you look at the toolbar along the bottom, you'll see some of the icons have red crowns next to them. They may also say new. If you're using the free version and you use one of these features like freeze or replace, for example, you will be prompted to upgrade to the pro version when you try to export your footage. This is where most people have a problem exporting footage. As long as you don't use any of the features that have red crowns next to them, you should be able to bring in a clip, edit it, and then export it for free. Before I can transform this clip, I have to tap on Canvas, Format, and choose 16x9. The preview area has now switched to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now when I tap on transform, which does not have a red crown next to it, you'll see that the video clip will stretch out to fill this whole preview area. If I tap on transform, you can see that I will have a couple of options. The two most important are fit and fill. Since I want to take up the whole preview area, I'll tap on fill. Keep in mind that this may not work for all clips. It works fine for this one. As you can see, I now have a 16 by 9 clip that takes up the entire preview window. To get back to the main toolbar, tap on the back arrow on the left hand side. The next thing I'll do is duplicate this clip because I'm going to use the reverse feature. Notice that neither the duplicate icon or the reverse icon has a red crown beside it. This means that I will be able to use these features for free and then export. To reverse a video, just select the clip you want to reverse, tap on reverse. The video is now reversed and should play backwards. Notice that as I'm playing this clip, the cyclist is riding backwards. Take a look at the cars too. Instead of driving forward, they are driving backward. That's how you can tell that a video clip has been reversed. If we tap on filters with the second clip selected, I can also add a filter. Notice that I can use any of the filters that do not have the red crowns beside them. For example, from the first two groups, I can use any filter I want. But starting with the third group, you'll see that there is a red crown in the upper left corner of that entire group. This means that each one of those filters requires a VideoLeap Pro level subscription. I'll choose this filter and apply the filter. Now I'll play the clip once more. As you can see, the clip is being played at normal speed and is going forward. Notice the cyclist goes from right to left. But when we switch to the second clip, the filter is applied and the cyclist rides backwards. This is the clip that I reversed. Take a look at the cars as well. They're driving backwards instead of forwards. To export this video, all I have to do now is tap on the export button in the upper right hand corner. I can choose my resolution using the resolution slider. I'll put it to 1080p because I'm uploading this clip to YouTube as part of this YouTube video. You can also change the frames per second or the frame rate. 
Then tap on Save, and the export will begin. Don't interrupt the export at this point, because if you do, you may have to repeat the process, as the clip may not export properly. Keep the app open and don't lock your screen. Just wait patiently for the export to finish. Once it does, you should find the exported clip inside your camera roll. Here's the final clip. In the first section, notice that this clip is playing forwards. The cars are driving forward and the cyclist goes from right to left across your screen. In this clip, the cyclist goes from left to right and the cars are driving backwards instead of forwards. Take a look at the right hand side of your screen and watch the red car.